the last week and a half has been really busy with us doing projects around the house. We've been working in the garden, which will be in an upcoming video, but we've been enjoying the little glimpses here and there that we see that spring is coming and it encourages my heart because I am very tired of winter. My childhood best friend, Joy, came and visited for the week and she brought her little girl, Missy, her and Hollis were fast friends, and it was so fun to see our girls bond and become friends like we were when we were young. So I kind of have some sad news to share about my dad. You guys know and love Mimi and Pops. They've been on our channel before in our videos. It's my parents and after Thanksgiving we got news that um, on one of my dad's like routine scans they had found a mass in his lungs and that was super heavy and scary, kind of the unknown, but they weren't able to see him and confirm it until January. Well, it was confirmed that he does have lung cancer and that was devastating, but they they felt like they could cut off the cancer because it's on the bottom part of his lobe and it hadn't spread to his lip nodes or anything like that. It was the better case scenario if you have to have cancer. Well, then last week we got news that he also has sinus and mouth cancer and we're still waiting to hear if it's the same type of cancer that's in his lungs. We're praying that it's not because if it's the same cancer, that means it's spread and he'll have to do chemo and radiation versus just having it cut out. My dad's 75 and we really just didn't want him to have to go through radiation and chemo because that's just so hard on your body. Um, so if you guys think about him, would you mind praying for him? It has been really hard. And we're pretty devastated because my dad, he means so much to us and to my kids. And we're just praying um, that God heals him and that he'll be okay. Um, and I know you guys have prayed for us through so many things. And if you want to pray again for our family and for my dad and my mom as she's walking through this with him, that would be so appreciated because... Um, it's been really hard. Thank you guys for caring and for the way that y'all love my dad too. You guys comment that you really like his sense of humor in our videos and we just love him. And so we're, we're really grieving right now, just the unknown. But we are Christians and we find our hope in the Lord. And no matter what he does, I know that he'll be able to get us through it, but we're just, we're really scared and really sad. in our shed 
because as soon as I came out here to film this, it started raining. But I want to talk about chicken feed for a second. I know that right now there's like a egg shortage across the country and eggs are super expensive and so more people are thinking about getting chickens in the spring. We have 25 chicks coming in March that I ordered back in November. But I think it just as important as having your own chickens and kind of providing that sustainability with eggs for your family. I think what you feed your chickens is just as important. And I've noticed on TikTok, several people have commented on how their chickens haven't been laying eggs for months, like since July, and they've been feeding them the same exact food and people's chickens just aren't laying. And some of the big brand chicken feed have altered some of the ingredients, probably to save money and it has affected chickens laying. And I have consistently been feeding my chickens Grubbly Farms feed since we got chickens um, two years ago, a little, almost three years ago. And I've consistently been feeding them the Grubbly Farms feed that whole time and I've never had any trouble with my chickens laying. Usually when they molt, they stop laying. For a couple months in the winter, they stop laying but they're fine and when they come back from molting they look healthy they're getting the right amount of protein i've never had my chickens just stop laying and some of my chickens are getting older in age you know usually around five years old they kind of slow down some of my chickens are hitting three and they're still producing a lot of eggs getting high quality chicken feed is going to be super important especially as everybody is going to be scrambling to get chickens to get feed kind of like we saw in 2020 with like shortage of canning lids and yeast for making bread I feel like everybody's gonna start getting chickens, which is great, because y'all know I love chickens, and I think everybody should keep at least a couple backyard chickens if they're allowed to. So it's exciting, but I think don't just try to skimp and save a buck, um, because your chickens may not lay with the food and the, the way they're changing chicken feed. So Grubbly Farms, they use sustainable practices, and they use grub worms in their feed versus like fish or chicken or beef, and they feed the grubs scraps so I want to say it was like 13 billion pounds of scraps that their grubs have eaten instead of it going into landfills which I love and it's also a very natural and high way for your chickens to get protein through the grubs so I'm gonna put a link below we absolutely love grubbly farms and if you're kind of wondering about chicken feed and the egg shortage, whether it's due to bird flu or if it's due to a lack of nutritious food for chickens, I think if you're gonna keep your chickens, if you already have chickens, I would switch to a higher protein, higher quality chicken feed to help keep eggs in your pocket. As a matter of fact, I've got eggs in my pockets right now. <laughs> I gotta remember not to break these. Another thing that's super helpful about Grubbly Farms is they have a subscription service because I'm always forgetting to order more chicken feed. And then the last thing you want is for your chickens to go a couple weeks without food because they will stop laying. Even if they're free range, I let my chickens out and it's still not enough. They need that extra protein. So they have a subscription service where you can order whatever size feed your chickens need. If you only have a couple, we get two 60 pound bags every month. And that's just to keep extra on hand and it's so nice it's delivered right to my door and i don't even have to think about it so i would check out their website and read more about their company and their values and see if that would be a good nutritious feed for your chicks we're going to be using their chick starter in march when our chicks get here i'm so excited um, and I'll keep you posted when those chicks are delivered and the whole process. I love chickens. Here I am trying to trick the chickens into roosting early. Sometimes Riggs feels rambunctious and he wants to chase the chicken so I have to lock him up. And then I feel bad when he's locked up so I want to put the chickens up before dark. And they are so stubborn about going in the coop before nighttime. 